In this video today, I'll show how I built the ruins of a church tower using only cardboard and carton. I gathered the cardboard and carton needed then measured and cut out the parts to build the church, such as the walls, wall texture, and window frames. I start on the bell tower section, using a small rectangular cardboard box, then draw a template, remove the flaps, and cut out the windows. Then seal up the top with a piece of cardboard. Then I used a longer rectangular cardboard piece for the top sector of the bell tower then drew and cut out the windows and parts of a destroyed wall. Then glued it on. Next, I started gluing on the pillars and window and door frames. First, I glue on the door frames. Then the second floor windows and shutters. Then, the third and fourth floor windows with the pillar made from rolled up paper. Followed by the pillars made from cardboard. Next, I start building the destroyed wall with the large window frames starting by drawing out the template, then cutting out the windows. For the windows, I used carton, peeling away the printed layer, then cutting and gluing the frame layers together, with some partially destroyed, then have them glued on. Then I glued on the three arced pillars, which were made from double layered cardboard. Next, I started building what would be the front wall of the church, this one having the textured window and door frames. First, I cut along the templates. Then, I used carton to add on the textured window and door frames. Once all these parts were assembled, I started to glue them together on their base. Then, using strips of cut paper, I glued them on to seal the cardboard edges as a masking tape substitute. Now for the brick texture, I used carton and pieces of sketch pad paper. Once finished, I added the interior window and door frames using carton. For the floorboards on the bell tower, I used strips of cut-up carton. Then I made the trap door hatch that accesses the roof. For the wooden beams of the partially destroyed roof, I used carton. Mm -hmm. 
once made, I then glued them to a cardboard base, glue on some roof shingles, then glued it onto the bell tower. Then for the ground texture, I used sand and gravel by sprinkling it over the glue covered surface. Once finished, I then sprayed on a primer to have it ready for painting. For the base coat, I used light gray. For the first brick color, I used brown sand. And then for the second color, I use field gray. And for the third color, I use white gray. The rest of the brick colors were different mixtures of the three colors used. For the front wall texture, bell tower interior, and window and door frames, I used beige. For the interior walls, I use neutral gray. Floorboards in the bell tower were painted using orange brown. The trap door was painted using light brown. then painted with natural steel. The wooden roof beams were also painted with orange brown. Then I painted the window shutters with medium brown. And then for the arcs and pillars, I used field gray.
Then for the roof and pillar shingles, I use field blue. And to finish it up, I dry brushed on ground texture highlights using white gray. That's also all for this tutorial. I hope you'll like this one.